Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting problem. The problem is, what will happen if you jump into a hole that has been drilled through the earth along its diameter? Let me explain you this diagram. This is the earth and uh, we have drilled a tunnel from North Pole to South Pole. As you can see here, this tunnel has been drilled along its diameter. Now suppose there is a man who fell accidentally into this tunnel. Now what will be his motion? Will he stop at the center or not? If not, then what will be its velocity at the center? Either he will uh, oscillate through this uh, tunnel or will be released through this south pole or the other end. In this video, we will see the complete mathematical analysis using Newton's laws and energy conservation and will calculate its velocity at various points, important points, other ends and the center and also the time taken to reach to the center, other end and other points. So let's start our video lecture. So this is our problem that if someone fell into this tunnel accidentally or uh, intentionally then where will he or she stop here one important thing is we are neglecting the air drag that is the air resistance suppose there is no air into the tunnel in this tunnel and uh, in this case there are four options here so whether he will stop at the center of the earth or will not stop anywhere and oscillate from end to end that is from poles between the poles for infinite time or will he be released through the south pole that is the other end or something different will happen so the answer for this question is second option he will not stop anywhere and will endlessly oscillate end to end and uh, one important thing is here we are neglecting the air drag so we will see here why this motion takes place why he oscillates and uh, what will happen if air is also present if we consider air drag also so let's discuss it so as now you know the answer of this question uh, of this problem that this man will not stop at the center so its motion will be like uh, first of all its velocity at this pole will be zero as it is having zero velocity it is just falling into this uh, tunnel so its velocity will increase as he reaches to the center because earth is pulling it downwards towards its center so by the gravitation its velocity will keep on increasing and will reach to the maximum at the center but he will not stop at the center because he has acquired a very large velocity till he reaches the center of the earth so he will not stop here and because of this velocity he will be thrown towards the other pole towards the other end and as we know that pull of the earth is always towards the center towards the center so whenever he when he jumps into this then the earth pulls it downwards so its velocity increases and reaches maximum at the center but when he reaches at the center then because of its motion it goes towards the other pole but earth keeps on pulling him towards the center so when he reaches here then the earth he feels a constant force of gravitation towards the center so its velocity keeps on decreasing and its velocity becomes zero while he reaches to the other end and then when its velocity is zero then it is again pulled back towards the center of the earth so its velocity again increases and uh, reaches maximum when he reaches to the center and again because of this acquired high velocity it he cannot uh, stop at the center and moves towards the other end okay because of the motion because of its high velocity it moves towards the other end but the earth again keeps it pulling towards its center so its velocity keeps on decreasing as he moves towards the north pole and while he while he reaches towards the north pole at the north pole its velocity is zero so again this motion takes place we have come to the same point from where we started and again it falls down and this motion continues this oscillation continues he moves like a pendulum from north pole to south pole so this is the motion. 
we can uh, understand this point from uh, another concept that is the energy conservation so by energy conservation you can see that here the all energy is stored in the form of potential energy as by energy conservation we understand that energy can neither be created nor can be destroyed but it can all only be transformed from one form to another so at this point it has zero velocity so its kinetic energy is zero its whole energy is in the form of potential energy so if we think that this if we consider this is r or height h then its potential energy is mgh according to this and its kinetic energy is zero when it falls down into the tunnel then its potential energy keeps on decreasing while its kinetic energy increases because of acquired velocity half mv square is the formula for kinetic energy so when he reaches at the center then its potential energy is zero because this height is zero we are calculating the potential energy from the center of the earth so mgh h is zero and this whole potential energy at this center has been converted into kinetic energy so it has maximum velocity at the center so highest kinetic energy again when he moves upwards when he moves uh, to the other end then its velocity decreases so the kinetic energy decreases but it gains again the potential energy and at this point its potential energy is maximum uh, but the kinetic energy is zero because of zero velocity so this is the concept uh, through the energy conservation and uh, this man oscillates between these two poles okay but uh, you should understand this fact also that uh, here we are cons not considering the air drag we are supposing here that there is no air resistance in the tunnel no air is present so in this case the oscillations will keep on endlessly for the infinite time but if air is present then its motion will be something like it will reach to the center acquire maximum velocity but because of this air drag it will not reach to the other end and its oscillations will decrease and it will oscillate and the oscillation length will in, uh, decrease with time and ultimately it will stop at the center okay the air will uh, resist its motion so the oscillations will uh, be continued but for the small time not infinitely so now let's see some mathematical analysis calculates its uh, velocity at various points and time taken to reach at various points let's see some velocity calculations we will calculate velocity at three points at the center and at the two poles at the two ends so initial velocity is zero because uh, he was falling with zero velocity and velocity at the other end is also zero because of the pull of the earth towards its center we have seen this that at the other end its velocity will be zero and velocity at the center of the earth will be maximum we have discussed it so let's calculate what will be this maximum velocity here we will use two techniques the newton's laws of motion and energy conservation to calculate this velocity as i already told you that uh, energy conservation by energy conservation we know that energy is only converted from one form to another form it cannot neither it can neither be created nor can it be it be destroyed so mgh this potential energy will convert into half mv square at the center because at the center we have the velocity only and height is zero if we measure the height from the center of the earth because gravity is centered at the center of the earth so half mv square is the only kinetic energy is the only energy which is in the form of kinetic energy mgh is zero because of h h is zero and uh, at the first end from where he is falling we have zero velocity so v is zero means kinetic energy is zero so the total energy is in the form of pot in the form of potential energy at the north pole and total energy at the center is in the form of only the kinetic energy so these are equal this total energy is conserved so calculate this so cancel out this m okay if we cancel out this m okay then we have gh equals to half v square and from this we get v is equals to under root 2 gh this g is what g is the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square is its value and here h is what is the radius height 
this is 6400 6400 kilometer we can convert it into meters so that we can calculate it um, by converting it into same units meter per second square and meter so you can calculate the velocity so this is by the conservation of energy this is the velocity at the center which is the highest velocity we can also use the newton's laws of motion to calculate the same thing by the newton's law of motion v square equals to u square plus 2gh v square is the final velocity u square is the initial velocity and g is the we know g and h is the height from the center of the earth so v square equals to u square zero initially he is falling from zero velocity and 2gh so v is what under root 2gh this is same as the case with the energy conservation so we will now calculate the time taken to reach at certain points like uh, center of the earth and the other points and also time taken to come back to the same end from where he fell okay so time taken to reach the center is calculated by h is equals to ut plus half gt squared this is another equation of motion by the newton so h is the height u is the initial velocity t is time time that we want to calculate gravitational acceleration and the time so h is equals to we are taking h h we know here already h is the radius of the earth we know this and u is zero okay initially this equation when we fall from the north pole the first end so u is zero okay so it is completely zero plus half gt square from here we get t square is equals to 2h by g and t equals to under root 2h by g so this is the time taken to reach to the center because h is what height from the pole to the center that is the radius so we know this h and we know this g these are the values so we can easily calculate the time that will be taken by this man to reach to the center now we know the velocity at the center and the time taken to reach to the center and now let's calculate the time that will be taken to reach the other end as we know by symmetry you can also understand you or you can uh, use the calculations that the time will be double of that time this was the time to reach to the center and double time will be taken the same time will be taken to reach from the center to the other end that was taken to reach from the reach to the center from this end so this is just a twice of under root 2h by g and you can also understand that the total time to reach from one pole to another pole will be same as the time taken from the second end to reach to the initial end okay so just this is the time to reach to the other end so the time to reach from the second end that is the south pole to the north pole will be equal to this time so the total time to reach to the same end from where we from where he fell down will be twice of this time that is four times of under root 2h by g you can easily calculate it we know the h which is the radius of earth and g is the acceleration due to gravity so this was the mathematical analysis and uh, we got the concept how the rules of physics behave and we calculated its velocity and time taken to reach at various points hope you like the video friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye